Assalamualaikum, everyone, and a very good morning, a very good evening to all my dear viewers. Uh, I would like to welcome you all to our online session, our talk show. Um, this is your host, Sayyada Kuratul An, and I've been associated with the City School PF chapter since the last five years. Uh, being organized by this uh, organization, I would just like to say that it has been a great ex learning experience so far, Alhamdulillah. And uh, however, the starting year from now, March 2020, has been a great roller coaster for all of us, I'm sure. There, has been, there have been dips and raises, there have been anxieties and challenges as well. And I'm sure you all can re relate to that. So moving forward today, first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce our guest for the day, our guest speaker, Dr. Arif Piarali from the Learning Minds, who is the Director of Training and Solutions. He is the keynote speaker and he is a senior consultant as well. His expertise are amplifying potential and uh, fostering the relationships between the people around the workplace. We also today have with us our very honorable, our very loved Dr. Saira Imran and Ms. Hadaf Kashif, Dr. Saira Imran, who heads the junior section at PF Chapter City School, and Ms. Hadaf Kashif, who is the senior mistress. So, moving forward, talking about today's theme that is embracing the new normal. The new normal, as we talk about it, and it's a great burning issue these days, but it brings with us, brings for us a lot of challenges and opportunities as, as well challenges like rebuilding the trust of all our stakeholders and challenges like fostering relationships in such an era where i'm sure communication and public affairs are going to be the key players uh, in order to thrive in such a situation so moving forward i would just like to begin our discussion with Dr. Saira Imran, and I would just like to ask her, how has she been dealing with the uh, current new novel and share her experiences with all our audience? Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, Ms. Kurat. Thank you very much, Dr. Arif Ali, for joining us. Assalamu alaikum, Ms. Sadaf, and assalamu alaikum to all my viewers. It's indeed a great honor to have Dr. Arif Piarelli with us. I've had the good fortune of attending a very nice session with him and I was literally mesmerized and I'm pretty sure that all of you will be doing the same today. You'll all fall in love with the words that he speaks. The theme for the day. I often think, what is life all about? I'm sure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created us without a reason. With every turn and every movement, there is a new light, a new opening, a new turn. We often get to see new things. Hence, life is all about facing new challenges. I was thinking the other day about what example should I give? So I thought, let's take the example of a bow and an arrow. We can only shoot. We can only shoot the arrow if we pull it backwards really hard stretching it really really hard and let us relate it this to relate this to our own lives when life is dragging us back with difficulties we feel stretched and strained but then we know just with all these difficulties and hardship we just remember that we are going to launch back into something great even greater than life itself looking back I saw all my colleagues in, the, in, these, in these times, I have seen that no matter how difficult the situation was, I saw my friends, my colleagues, my staff, my students, even my parents striving really hard, really hard to achieve little goals. And then that in the end, that smile of triumph that showed that they knew that they had aced it and they had won it. I read somewhere today, no matter how much it hurts now, someday we will look back and realize that our struggles changed our life for the better. I would also like to share that, you know, what is the best thing we can do? 
I think the best thing we can do nowadays is not to think too much. I know it is easier said than done, but then the best part is not to ponder too much, not to take too much stress, not to wonder as to what will happen next. Just take a deep breath. Have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember that everything will work out for the best with patience, acceptance and doing our level best. Sympathy, care and empathy can do wonders during these times. So being associated with the city school, I'd like to take this opportunity and share with all my viewers that the city school has launched a campaign of the city school cares. And this involves a 100% admission fee waiver. This admission fee waiver campaign will be valid till the 28th of July, 2020. It is a conscious effort by our school to support parents in these trying times. Thank you once again, Ms. Kura. Thank you once again, Dr. Arif. And over to you, Ms. Adam. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Saram Ran. That was quite enlightening. Moving on to Ms. Sadaf Kashif. Ms. Sadaf, what are your views? How, have, uh, how has the new normal changed the way things work now for you in your personal life and the workplace also? Please share your views with us. Very warm greetings from Sadaf Kashif. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, I'm the senior mistress at PR Chapter Junior Section. So our today's session is all about embracing change. And I believe that Change in life is inevitable. The human life is a mixed blend of happiness, sorrows, smiles, tears, highs and lows, opportunities, adversity, hope. But with COVID-19 invading our lives, I call it invading because um, it, its outbreak has been very sudden, abrupt and uncertain. Our lives have encountered fear, um, pain, suffering, a lot of risk of survival, you name it, and it is there. And with it spread all over the world, uh, the projection of our thoughts is more towards the negativity. Um, I, I believe that we've forgotten to look at the bright shining day um, after every dark night. Um, the, the lesson the sunset offers to all of us when the daylight blends into the night sky, um, it, it brings along a lot of serenity, calm, and a lot of time to rest and recover. And, you know, so I think in, in these times, it is very, very essential that we make a conscious effort in reminding ourselves about the positivity that this time can bring or this time can offer. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, and he reminds us that with every difficulty, with every difficulty, ease is followed after it. So every difficulty is basically followed after, followed with ease. So we need to learn to rise above this challenge and look at the opportunities rather than looking at the problem. Because the more we look at the problems, we find the problem going bigger. The more we look at the opportunities, then we start thinking and the opportunities come our way, you know, different ways open in our lives. Um, I'm, I'm very thankful to Dr. Arif because today we are looking forward to having a very insightful se session with him. And I'm sure that he'll be able to shift our, the focus of our thoughts towards positivity. And without any further ado, um, Ms. Kurutilan, it's all yours. Thank you very much once again. Thank you so much, Ms. Sadaf. And without wasting any time, moving to Dr. Arif. Dr. Arif, uh, we've heard both the ladies. Uh, what do you say? How has the new normal changed? Or how can you define the new normal right now? Or the normal normalcy that's currently there? Please also share some of your experiences in, at your workplace as well as your in your personal life. We'd love to hear that as well.
as you all know that the new normal brings a lot of challenges and anxieties together plus a lot of opportunities we have dr arif back with us dr arif uh, may i should i repeat the question yes. Ah, uh, please do so. Please do so. Okay, I was uh, I was just trying to ask you uh, whether there should be a new definition for the normal now, or should we be give, uh, mm -hmm. you know how should we be taking uh, along all these experiences that currently are happening in the new normal currently? Plus, we also would like to share your experiences mm -hmm. uh, in at your workplace and in your personal life as well. Okay. Ah. Uh Thank you, Kurat, for this. First of all, to Bismillah Rahman Rahim and Assalamu Alaikum. Okay, so this is the new normal. Okay, moving forward uh, till we reconnect with Dr. Arif, uh, let's talk to Ms. Saira some, about something um, regarding rebuilding the trust levels of uh, the stakeholders and going along with the teams, aligning the teams and processes. Ms. Saira, Imran, what's your take on that? Thank you very much, Ms. Ms. Khurat. I believe the future, the future is ours. The future is how we look at it. Dr. Arif has joined us. I think I should just uh, mute myself. Dr. Uh, Arif, I think you're having some internet uh, issues and this is the new normal. Uh, yeah, so this is the new normal and we have to embrace it. I'm running some, uh, running into some uh, internet issues. So if I go, uh, if I go again uh, from this, then I'll come from my mobile phone and we'll work around that. Okay, so first of all, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Saira and Sadaf and Kurotolen, for inviting me uh, to speak uh, over on this platform. Uh, so, so it's very interesting for me because right now, uh, and so I'm I'm a bit anxiety to to be really honest, uh, because I'm talking to two pillars of of uh, of. Of humanity, right? कोई भी बच्चा अगर उसने grow करना है, उसको skill सीखने हैं, या दुनिया के अंदर उसने survive करना है, तो there are two pillars, two very essential pillars. One are parents, and the other one are teachers. And I'm talking to them, and I'm trying to convey my ideas to them. So it's it's really interesting for me, and so I'll try my level best on that particular part. Secondly, uh, Dr. Sara, you have started some um, uh, initiative of uh, bringing in kids without the admit without uh, with waivering the admission fees. I think so. That's pretty uh, awesome. I think we lost the guest again. Okay, so um, can you hear me right now, Kurat? Yes, I can. Yes, sir, we can. Loud and clear. So I have I have ditched my uh, internet, and uh, because I we have to be agile now. On I am on my 4G. So. Um, let's start with the new normal definition. Uh, normally, so, so people who are who are uh, tuned in, I hope this is the last interruption. Uh, when we talk about the new normal, जब हम कुछ हम ये बात करें कि नया definition होना चाहिए या कोई नई चीज होनी चाहिए, that's that's not the case. Uh, it, we we need to think about the the mindset, our mindset. So अगर आप ये कहें कि ये मेरे साथ क्यों हो रहा है, या for example uh, Online classes हो गई हैं. You are working from home. Your uh, your husband is working from home, or your wife is working from home. Uh, so uh, your the net uh, the net is not good, right? जैसे मेरे साथ अभी हो रहा है. So you can ask yourself कि यार ये मेरे साथ ही होता है या मेरे साथ ही हो रहा है हमेशा से मेरे साथ क्यों होता है? Rather than asking this question, you should ask yourself that what it is trying to teach me. 
राइट मुझे सिखाना क्या चाह रहा है एंड वंस दैट इज योर माइंड सेट एवरी थिंग चेंजेस so you don't need a new definition of normal you don't need a new definition of of work from home uh, so so nothing is needed in that part acha ek aur cheez jo hum ye baat kar rahe hain covid ki and and how the entire economy has changed how the entire education uh, system for that matter has changed so on this particular point i have to raise that change a uh, tabdili वैसे भी अगर आप हिस्ट्री उठा लें ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री दे डोंट लाइक इट प्रटी मच सो वी यूज टू लिव इन केव्स वी वीटी ओके हंटिंग बट देन वन डे समन आई एम श्योर सेट कि लेट्स क्रिएट अ कम्युनिटी एंड आई एम श्योर देर वुड हैव बीन इश्यूज अराउंड दैट पीपल वुड हैव लाइक के यार हम कम्युनिटीज में क्यों रहे uh i am sure the first person who said that earth is not flat it's round uh um, he was hanged because earth to flat hota hai round nahi hota hai people resist change so it's a natural phenomena of humans to resist change however change is the only constant however change is the only constant so you 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 once you when you're born you you don't have hair then you are, then you have hair that's black then it's gray then it's white and if you live enough it's gone again so yeah so that's the that's the that's the constant right but change hame waise bhi acha nahi lagta aur hamare sath abhi bhi yahi hua hai so uh, all those gurus and all those people do what to do um so they have technically no clue what to do and and that's where uh we how to move forward with this right so you don't need a new definition um मैं एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ जो लोग अभी कनेक्ट हुए हैं हमारे साथ मैं उनसे पूछता हूँ क्या आपके टाइम पे कभी ऐसा हुआ था कि आपके पेरेंट्स ने आपको कभी इस तरह के एग्जाम्पल्स दिए हों कि यार हमारे जमाने में तो मानो पांच रुपए का पूरा महीने का राशन आ जाया करता था या हमारे जमाने में तो बड़े आराम से जो हम ताला नहीं लगाते थे वी डोंट प्लेस लॉक्स एंड ट्रैकिंग सिस्टम एंड द कैमराज एंड स्टफ इट वाज ओपन फॉर ऑल बट इट वाज सो नाइस टू सी दैट वहां पे कोई रॉबरी इस तरह से नहीं होती थी आई एम श्योर एवरी हाउस होल्ड हैज हर्ड दीज सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रॉम आर पेरेंट्स इज इंट इट हैव यू हर्ड दैट कभी जिंदगी में कोई इस तरह का स्टेटमेंट है कि हमारे जमाने में तो बेटा इस तरह से होता था आई एम वेटिंग लेट्स मेक इट लेट्स मेक इट अ बिट एंगेजिंग फॉर द पीपल वेरी वेल सेड डॉक्टर आरिफ एंड लेट्स वेट सो एंड राइट नाउ सो आयशा सिंह यस यस डेफिनेटली या सो ओके सो या सो या सो I'm sure आप में सब ने कहीं ना कहीं ये चीज जरूर सुनी होगी और अभी राइट नाउ इज दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम जहां पर अब 10 साल बाद 15 साल बाद जब आप अपने बच्चों को कहेंगे ना कि बेटा एक टाइम था जब वी वेन टू द मूवीज एंड देर वर टू हंड्रेड और फाइव हंड्रेड पीपल सिटिंग इन अ रूम वॉचिंग अ मूवी विदाउट अ मास्क दैट वुड बी इक्विवेलेंट uh to the to the time that where there were no locks there were no cctv cameras and there were no trackers we can't comprehend that uh what our parents says our parent has said to us right in the similar manner uh the child will never understand or will cannot comprehend that ke aisa koi time tha jab hum bina mask ke bhi ghuma karte the राइट right? uh, ऐसा भी कोई टाइम था जहां पर जो है एक रूम के अंदर 200 या 500 लोग या 50 लोग बैठ के खाना खाते थे ना रेस्टोरेंट राइट थिंग्स मैं नहीं कह रहा रेस्टोरेंट्स बंद हो जाएंगे मैं नहीं कह रहा कि मूवी थिएटर्स बंद हो जाएंगे व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट इट द थिंग्स विल चेंज सो रादर देन सेंग दैट ये मेरे साथ क्यों हो रहा है या हमारे साथ क्यों हो रहा है या 2020 में ही आना था हमारे तो ट्रेवल प्लान थे 2020 में ही आना था uh, मेरे तो ग्रेजुएशन प्लान थे या अब सो आई वॉन्टेड टू मूव अब्रॉड एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट रादर देन थिंग दैट वॉट इट इज ट्राइंग टू टीच मी एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल क्रिएट योर ओन डेफिनेशन ऑफ द न्यू नॉर्मल
very well said very well said dr arif now uh, let's talk about resilience uh, would you like to explain the, the term resilience to all our viewers and the audience and also tell how, why is it important as an individual in the current times how can we be mentally resilient and bring a positive change in the overall community would you like to put some light on that yes um ajay it's it's very interesting kurat thank you for that thank you for placing me in a tough spot um uh, i and so now right now i'm trying to explain in in front of my teachers and parents uh, about about a word so so thank you for placing me in that spot um uh, resilience uh, <laughs> okay so resilience uh, on the core word on the core word resilience is just that how you bounce back after a tragedy or after a setback that's pretty much it acha ye hamari generation mein thoda bahut phir bhi hai hamari se jo pehli generation thi for example our father mother uh, they had a lot of resilience um, ironically the generation which are in schools right now or colleges right now they don't have that kind of resilience the multiple factors for that बट uh, एक फैक्टर जो स्टैंड आउट करता है पूरे प्रोसेस के अंदर uh, मैं एग्जाम्पल देखिए जरिए समझाता हूं दैट इज वीडियो गेम्स राइट दैट इज दैट इज सो यू यू टाइप एनी थिंग ऑन यूट्यूब यू यू जस्ट स्पीक वॉट एवर सॉन्ग और वॉट एवर वीडियो यू वॉन्ट टू से एंड द गूगल ट्रांसलेटर जब पिक्स एट आप एंडक्सा सीरी the things are getting streamlined right ab hame wait nahi karna padta ab jab hame wait nahi karna padta to hamara patience out ho jata hai right ek uh, second ke liye bhi agar internet drop hota hai so we just lose our temper all together uh, agar hum game haarne lagte hain to restart ka button sabse pehle dabta hai so that patience level that resilience that uh, theek hai hum haar rahe hain but we have to go through this tough time to get on to the other end that is diminishing in the younger generation uh, because of the games or the the interaction and the engagements they are having because of that right kyunki mere mere time pe main aisa nahi ki bahut budha ho gaya hu lekin mere time pe jo hai hum cricket khelte the bahar dhoop mein khelte abhi bhi khelte hain by the way kabhi kabhar pata hai haarne wale hain phir bhi fielding kar rahe hain phir bhi bowling kar rahe hain so we know we are going to lose but we can't start the next game until and unless we have finished this game either we have won it or we have lost it right but in the current scenario uh the kids don't go through this entire process either it's like so the entire game ends in one and a half minute and even if you're losing you just restart that point hence resilience mental mental resilience kaise aayega mental resilience ye aayega ki aap jaise hum sab kisi tragedy ke through uh, guzre hain right it's it's um, what what we call it as um, collective trauma yes that's the word that's the word the scientists are using right now collective trauma uh, so everyone in the entire world has gone through it uh, first world second world third world countries everyone has gone through it either you are a kid you are a parent uh, you are a teenager you are a young adult you are an old uh, everyone has gone through it so it's a collective trauma now uh, where we are stuck and how to get mental resilience in the process ठीक है, we have to set goals, we have to set one month goal, six months goal, two year goal, five year goal, short term goals and long term goals in short. Now, why is this goals important for mental resilience? So, I am interacting with a lot of youth, a lot of teachers and parents, and so back and forth, I'm I'm doing a lot of uh, engagement with them. आपको पता है सबसे बड़ा जो concept आ रहा है सामने, right? and that is uh hame aage ka nazar nahi aa raha right the, the the future is really uncertain we can't see what will happen in future uh, kya mera bachcha pass hoga kya uske exams honge uh, kya mujhe promotion milegi kya mera appraisal hoga uh, what will what how the world will revolve in 2021 for that matter kya hame uh, uh, वैक्सीनेशंस मिलेंगी या वो फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड कंट्रीज तक महदूद रह जाएंगी सो बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी पीपल कैन नॉट फिगर आउट द फ्यूचर हेंस दे आर बिकमिंग डिप्रेस 
hence they are getting into stress and anxiety because they can't see anything in front of them so uh, as a parent as a student and as a teachers we have to create goals right now to create mental resilience uh, because if we can't do that in the morning we wake up we have nothing to look forward for it's the same old same old and uh, if that's the case now that's a problem that's not a case then yes kurat very well said very well said all these stressful times they are meant to either break you or make you and it's all about the perspective that you have very well said dr arif and uh, moving forward uh, talking about, let's talk something about the digital media and the news these days that are there everywhere and everybody today is a corona expert spreading false news rumors thanks to whatsapp for uh, instance uh, for that matter as well so what's your take on that like whether staying informed that's a very good thing but uh, should we be alarmed all the time and how is is it affecting our lives our uh, mental well being how is that being affected how are we not being able to living well please uh, put some light on that as well yeah kurat uh, to all the viewers and uh, um, dr saira and sadaf and you as well if you have an option of blocking and deleting that particular person's number on your whatsapp i think so you should go for that first right that should be the our first line of action um and uh, our second line of action should be we should be uh, very precise of what we read there is information everywhere isn't it like you just open up google you write anything like any word you write they have more than 5 lakh articles like in a blink of a second it just comes it just pops up so what we do is we create our filters uh, of what we need to read or what we need to absorb and what we need to let go isn't it uh, and similarly when these type of videos and these type of uh, people are are again continuously bugging anyone like they make a whatsapp group or they just mass share that particular video which has no sense at all mujhe nahi pata aaj tak ke adrak kaise covid ko khatam kar sakti hai ya phir aap raat mein sone se pehle haldi piye aur covid kaise khatam ho jayega mujhe aaj tak samajh mein nahi aaya even uk scientists are baffled uh, after listening to this particular statement by a pakistani so uh, what i i suggest acha kya ye band ho jayega ye bilkul band nahi hoga uh again historically human likes power and knowledge is power and that so we can consider that knowledge or not but that person is considering that knowledge so uh in in the previous time in Jap- uh, in in so if we take 500 years from now right in uh, so there were multiple japanese authors and there was an epicenter of power it it was a library or some example deta hu al azhar university us zamane ke andar theek hai na that was an epicenter of knowledge it was not everywhere but after 200 or 500 years or whatever it is uh, i don't know the exact number but the point i'm trying to make is now that the the knowledge is not an epicenter because it's everywhere like you have google and youtube and so so the knowledge epicenter has been decentered uh, like decentralized if i may say so now what happens people like to uh, tell or like to show off that they have more knowledge they are into this process more than you so that's not going to stop so we need to forget about that what we need to do is search read and understand a very authentic uh uh bodies for example harvard bloomberg uh the economy uh, so, so these are those articles or or some uh, if you want to see a video uh, see a video of cnn bbc authentic bodies will help you understanding uh what you want to understand what you want to learn and what is just rumors me example deta hu uh ha AKU was doing a lot of free webinars for covid initially jab ye march april mein aaya tha i have seen people wo AKU jo ek authentic body hai uske doctors bata rahe hain ki sops kya hai ye covid kaise hai kahan se aata hai 
उसको सुनने की जगह आई हैव सीन पीपल मेरे सामने दे वुड लिसनिंग टू सम आई डोंट नो सम पर्सन फ्रॉम इंटीरियर एंड दैट पर्सन वॉज सेंग कि ये कोविड वोविड कुछ नहीं है गर्मियां आएंगी सब चला जाएगा अब नाउ यू टेल मी के क्या ये वीडियोज आना बंद हो जाएंगी बिल्कुल नहीं होंगी सो इट्स अप टू अस दैट वॉट वी एब्सॉर्व एंड वॉट वी लेट गो सो वी नीड टू प्लेस आर मेंटल फिल्टर्स इन प्लेस या definitely filtering the information authenticity these are all much needed these times uh, thank you uh, very well said dr arif and i am uh, having a look at the participation by our audience uh, very active participants indeed today yes. and thank you for all the appreciation uh, moving forward uh, talking let's talk something about the students as well these days um, everybody is online joining the classes and uh, at home staying safe now we also talk about that this world entirely is a global classroom okay that's the theory this entire world today it's a classroom so how relevant this theory is in these times plus there are two new concepts relatively new in this uh, region uh, that is phenomenal based learning and learning through play how do you see them uh, you know in uh, propagating education to everybody every child and uh, to making a huge impact in the future and our upcoming generations hmm. i think so it's a heaven for children right now because jahan tak mujhe pata hai aaj se 6 mahina pehle parents used to scold um, uh, children for using mobile phones or laptops for more than 2 hours uh, but now they are they are requesting uh, same their their children Uh, to use mobiles and laptops because of the online classes to bechare bacche bhi confused hain ki karna kya hai pehle ek cheez decide karo pehle aap mana karte the aap keh rahe ho nahi padho is pe so uh, i think so it's not just on the basis of play uh, classes or or phenomenon classes we there and i am sure uh, if i can predict i'm not a, i'm not a jochi for that matter but what i can see the trend of the future uh, the vr concept right a uh, virtual reality concept uh, the the concept of gamification in cl- online classrooms these are all uh, pretty pretty near and they would be included uh, in the co- in the uh, in the curriculum in the near future what i suggest the students right now is to be as agile as possible uh, i i so i'm not in touch with a lot of students but the innate uh, student mentality uh, is ke bas padhai ho gayi ab laptop to hath mein hi hai ya mobile to hath mein hi hai to let's play some game or uh, let's uh, hang out or zoom kar lete hain ya is tarah se na let's just create skype kar lete hain uh, some something on those lines right so i would just request them that see for new skills now you have mere time pe i remember as as a student i used to complain uh, ke mujhe yahi kyu padhna hai theek hai mujhe agar ye particular subject nahi padhna mujhe agar ye padhna hai to why can't i read that uh, so for example if i read any book on uh, at that time aur main agar class mein jaakar batata tha ke mujhe is pe summary deni hai to nahi wo summary aap usi pe doge jo book aapne uh, aapko di gayi thi by the teacher but right now that's not the case uh you can read anything you want you can uh, you can enhance your skill uh you can you know more than the more about covid and the world than your parents right now isn't it help them that's now this is the chance uh, where you help your parents understand technology this is the time when you help your parents understand covid um so i give you an example abhi hamare jo future Uh, distant relation can there uh, there was a covid case right and then the kid who was approximately 15 16 years of age uh, went on google uh, understood the uh, jo bhi uske symptoms hain uske niche uski helpline thi usko call lagaya use whatsapp kiya tasveere bheji jo rashes aa gaye the unke haath pe and then the entire process took place right now you have the, the students right now this is your chance 
uh, we used to whine about not having enough time on phones and laptops and not scrolling and browsing enough ab jab time mila hai we are wasting our time uh, uh, in other stuff so you want to do gaming i have no issues if you want to have like group chatting skype wagera i have no issues but make sure at the same time you are upskilling that's the word you are upskilling not just reading uh, your curriculum and and going uh, back to your room that that won't cut it out right now that is so true in current times especially and with the young learners that we are dealing dr arif uh, they all want to know everything they are so curious and they want to have variety they want to have their say uh, as a personal experience i'd like to share with you uh, in the online classes there are some students in the regular classrooms they never used to speak a word but as now they are online studying online they love the way the things are being delivered they love the way they interact with their friends and uh, their peers they love the way uh, the teacher is uh, you know teaching and delivering lessons and uh, hats off to our management definitely because they have uh, you know tried their level best to uh, cope up with the new normal and help us you know um, be calm stay calm stay positive and you know keep that perspective which really brings a positive change so uh, a, a big salute a big salute to all the teachers out there uh, because uh, this is the first time in history uh, in history uh, that they have opened their doors of their home uh, for the students who are studying because once you are doing a zoom session or or a, a team session or anything an online class on any uh, platform you are actually showing your your house to them right so this is the first time you're opening up uh, and and so that's a big very big step very uh, uh, i must say very courageous step and uh, salute to all the teachers uh, who are doing this and and teaching uh, up upskilling the students even in a pandemic hats off to you thank you so much for these words of encouragement and i'm sure all the teachers who've joined in today they would love the way you have expressed your ex appreciation right now uh, okay talking about the dig digital uh, media and exposure lots of information bombardment of information from everywhere uh, what about the student uh, you know uh, online security uh, how should that be dealt with we can talk about issues like online bullying maybe uh, or cyber crime like how are these supposed to be addressed especially uh, when it comes to young learners what is your advice for the parents as well as the teachers and the students as well okay uh my okay so i'm not an expert on this particular topic uh but i think so it should have a zero tolerance policy uh and it should be reported we have a cyber crime unit i i suppose in karachi so it should yes, be reported yeah. yeah so it should be reported as soon as you uh, you get a hold of that uh, particular thing uh because because once we are online like this is like a black hole because you have multiple connections going back there is an algorithm which is running there is there is a coding which is running and as a layman like me or you for that matter we don't know 90% of the stuff which is happening so so once you get uh, even a hint of cyber bullying or or for that matter harassment for that thing first of all again don't think that why it is happening to me think what it's trying to teach me so think yourself as lucky that you actually found out about cyber bullying bullying or uh, harassment ab bahut sare ko to pata hi nahi hota ki hua kya theek hai jab tak wo ho nahi gaya hota so you are lucky on that matter and complain lodge a complaint as soon as it uh, goes up uh, students who are doing it out of fun or out of uh, simple um, uh, time jisko hum kehte hain ki bas aise hi time pass karne ke liye kar rahe hain i humble request that you have better things to do in life stop wasting your time in things which is not funny uh, it might be funny to you and if it is you need to look for a psychiatrist uh, because cyber bullying and harassment is not funny at all and uh, you have a lot of potential 
just do good for yourself and your family don't get into this yes correct very well said and um, i would like uh, dr saira iman also to share her views her thoughts her feelings because that is something really close to her heart and she has been you know training us all regarding all these issues that the young learners might face yes dr saira please share your views um just, just taking a moment i'd like to talk about harassment and bullying carrying on from what dr arif just said so i'd like to enlighten my viewers about that 40% women in pakistan they don't even know that they are being stalked or harassed and that there are specific laws about this in pakistan 72% of the women in pakistan do not know about the cyber harassment laws in pakistan that's really shocking i could see your brow raised dr arif the 72% of the women in pakistan they don't know about this 45% women simply they feel very embarrassed they feel that it's it's going it's shameful it's they feel sort of you know um, they feel shy in sharing that they are being cyber bullied or they are being harassed while they are online while 47% of the women don't report the case because they think it's not necessary and that's really sad this is something that just you know um, carrying on with what you said but um, with what ms kurat said ms kurat when you were talking about your own experience of online teaching and learning i was very proud and i thought that i must share with all the audience and especially with dr arif as well that this technology integration and these times of staying behind the screen and learning has definitely boosted up our special needs students the learn the, the learners who learn differently the disability students who learn differently are usually shy when they are in a classroom setting and they feel that kind of a shyness and they hesitate in responding but then i feel that because of this we've seen many students blossom and their results have been really amazing may, may they be small assignments may they be um written work or quizzes here i'd like to share one very important thing and that's about the mindset you see taking we can take everything negatively and we can take things positively like you very kindly said so i'd like to talk about the growth mindset here because of this pandemic students sitting at home there are many parents like myself who are working and i feel i i've received this from many mothers as well that they've been able to nurture and care for their kids even more they've been able to look at their specific skills and their uh concepts they've been able to sit with them and read with them so let's take it very positively let's take i uh, while on a drive i was going to meet my mother a week back and while on the drive i saw many people riding on a bicycle there were ladies and girls so i think this is the new normal i think we'll be having less traffic on the roads let's let's wow let's let's hold our hands together and go for walking and cycling and indulge in other activities that will create a more positive response in our health as well teachers i salute you my hats off to you because i believe that it's not easy me speaking right now i can now imagine how tough it is for you all to so the growth mindset there is one little line that i love and that's about not yet there's a fixed mindset and a growth mindset so the growth mindset this is coral by uh, coral dweck and it says that we must accept that we are not there yet this is this is an upward graph because it means that we will be there some day so the growth and the learning must never stop students must indulge in activities that are healthy and must know how to differentiate between flooding of forwarded messages dr arif i really love the idea that we must delete those contacts who are in a habit of sending us forwarding forwarded messages <laughs> I, i i think i'll do that i'll be the pioneer of doing that so uh, thank you very much for letting me in kurat but i i'm really really amazed by how dr arif has taught us 
in such a little time about so many nice things that we can continue kurat over to you okay moving forward that was very insightful dr sairam ran and thank you for your appreciation as well uh, with the bottom of our hearts uh, moving forward uh, talking about a uh, young learners and we've talked about digital media as well uh, now let's talk something about our future what the future holds for us right now uh, mm. there are opportunities lots of them and challenges as well so how do you see a uh, future after covid 19 okay uh so first of all again um uh, kurit um i am not an expert on the future right uh so agar aap mujhse bahut honest uh, opinion cha rahe ho being being really honest on that i don't know uh but the trends what i'm seeing is that there is no post covid this is what it is uh because who has already said that this is an endemic Uh, it's not going to go away like the flu uh, like polio uh, like uh, tb uh, like malaria like dengue uh, this is this is here to stay right so there is no post covid uh, we need to accept that the earlier we accept the better we can move on right the better we can embrace it acha is pe darne ki baat nahi hai बाय द वे मतलब डरने की बात इसलिए नहीं है क्योंकि यस इट्स अ सीरियस डिजीज बट द पीपल आर वर्किंग ऑन द वैक्सीनेशन एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट बट इट्स हियर टू स्टे इट्स नॉट गोइंग अवे ये वो लैपटॉप जब हैंग हो जाता है तो रीबूट का वो बताते हैं ना रीस्टार्ट का बटन दबाते हैं तो सब सही हो जाता है ये लाइफ मतलब कोविड इज नॉट लाइक दैट कि तीन महीने के लिए आप घर पे थे अब आप जो है बाहर निकलेंगे तो सब सही हो जाएगा सो ये जो रीस्टार्ट मेंटेलिटी है ना हमारी ये अब हम वी हैव टू लेट इट गो uh the second thing the future with the trends what what i'm seeing is that uh there would be few things would be which would be considered as your clothing accessories and one of them would be mask uh so we have companies like khadi uh who has started creating like i'm sure kurat you have yes. you have seen yes. that right well aware of that yeah uh, and it's not only here it's not only here uh in the west old navy jc penning uh, companies like huge companies like this have uh, started prada uh, gucci they have started uh, uh, pr- uh, like making mask and uh, that day i was looking at one of the videos of south korea uh, where there was a child of 5 6 years uska jaise mask nikala he started crying like anything and uh, so so one of the trends is that these mask would be part of our clothing accessories and if someone uh, goes out without a mask it would be equivalent to that he is not not uh, not wearing the essential clothes uh, which were there to be wore in the first place so for example not you would like i would be perfectly fine but people will start looking at me uh, in that manner uh, so So, so so there would be changes on these lines the third part would be that the change and the trend changing that i'm seeing is uh, dr saira talked about the women uh, and the females who are with their child and jis tarah se wo unke sath reading and they're spending time and bonding with them uh, i'll speak from the male perspective and i am telling you uh, this covid has been an eye opener uh, for for males as well Uh, i have spent a lot of time with my kid uh, and i am telling you my priorities about life has changed uh, i am a workaholic still but uh, the way i spent time with him and i saw him growing literally growing in front of my eyes has changed a lot about me and i'm sure all the fathers who are listening right now unki zindagiyon mein bahut change aaya hoga uh, one one more thing of the future trend is life is now about collaboration and not competition uh it's empathy we need to show empathy but up family ke andar the wife should show empathy for the husband because job insecurity itni hai wo unko pata hi nahi hai kal unki naukri rahegi ya nahi rahegi ya for example wife ki rahegi ya nahi rahegi theek hai agar agar if if a wife is, if, if the wife is a housewife right so she has to cook food she has to look after his parents and then she have to look after the kids and himself as well so that person needs to show empathy to the wife and and help her 
uh, in in some house chores uh, in that matter, right? Uh, the kids who are listening to me right now, you should show empathy to your parents. Uh, this is a time where nobody has gone through it. So you cannot get any experience on Google or or from your parents or from your dada dadi and nana nani. So it's a clean slate. We have to work as one unit. We have to work as one empathetic uh, unit, and that is the only way we can get out of this. Uh, right now, it's not the time for showing ego. Uh, right now, it's not the time for showing who is earning more in the family. Right now, it's not the time. to blame accuse right now is not the time to be uh, to be uh, stubborn right right now is the time to show that you care right now is the time to show that you love right now is the time to show that you are there for them because that is what family are for to be there for them when they need you to care for them yes so well uh, support uh, dr arif i must say and with all that that you've said acceptance is something that is really important uh, following all the norms and the standard operating procedures we need to you know embrace the new normal that we're talking about so we actually need to accept the fact take things positively not just wait for things and spread negativity around that really won't work and i would like uh, dr saira imran and ms sadaf also to share their views uh, about the current acceptance levels of our society uh, how things have been changing around them can i share a personal experience ms kurat if you yes, allow please. Yes. yes please uh, i i'd like to share my own experience dr arif and my son i've got two kids and uh, my son mashallah is 21 years old and during he loves culinary he has culinary skills and he loves cooking but obviously with his busy routine and the university and everything so lately since march he's been indulging in his this interest i would say and he's been experimenting cooking wonderful dishes for us and i told him that walid now this has to be the normal you'll have to empathize with mummy you'll have to help us and see you can always experiment and learn what is new and you know um, take time in enjoying yourself because after university men usually you know they have that ego they can't cook they can't go to the kitchen because they get tired so thank you very much for bringing this over and i wanted to share that my son has been cooking a lot and that is one thing that's really amazed me over to ms sadaf yeah it is actually the same situation here as well i'm a mother of two boys and we've connected so much we we were always very much connected but then these times have brought us together in such a way that we've been cooking experimenting we've been trying out things that we can do we've been discovering opportunities to work online um my younger son is skilled in photoshop and the elder one is more into mechanics and how things work and all so you know we figure out things uh, new things and we try and discover so it has definitely brought us all together um mm. as as far as um the um patience in the environment and that definitely we all i believe as a nation we all need to work towards it we all need to become role models and practice the values we all need to become calm and we all need to remind ourselves consciously that it's all right all of us are in it together and together we can come out of it so uh, together we can cope up with it so i think that is something that we, as a nation each one of us needs to instill consciously instill into our minds and into our hearts basically it should actually seep into our hearts not just stay in the mind seep into the hearts so that you know it works it actually becomes more magical and it becomes more real thank you very well said the magic must be there right because uh, that brings life to everything whether it's a stressful situation thank you so much okay uh, dr arif one more question um talking about negativity uh, procrastination uh, people just like to lie around 
and do nothing about what's happening and they're like okay it's fate and it's luck and it's bad luck and we can't do anything about it what's your take on that and before you answer this question i would like our audience also to ask uh, some questions that you can post them in and we can definitely take some of them if our guests allow yes over to you dr arad yes i will allow uh, the question perfectly fine kurat um okay so what should we do um first of all we need to understand that this is not a productivity race right uh, this is a pandemic zindagi mein shayad pehli baar hua hai aur aakhri baar to nahi hai khair waise lekin chalo pehli baar hua so people don't know technically they don't have a blueprint of getting out of this uh, so if you are so you have just gone blank relaxing and and not Um, not much happening in your life except uh, netflixing and and uh, amazon uh, for the first few weeks that's pretty okay okay because your body is coping your mind is coping out of a shock right so that's okay but iske baad bhi agar abhi bhi 4 mahine ke baad bhi you're not out of your bed and uh, you're not out of procrastination now that's an issue because that will some example deta hu ek uh i was i was hosting this one of this panel discussion jisme ek uh, psychologist thi and she mentioned that if you wake up in the morning and you have, you 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 are tired you have fatigue ek do din to rehta hai matlab ek hafte tak roz subah uthe you have proper sleep like aaj ghante ki neend mil rahi hai lekin in the morning when you wake up you are tired that is the first sign of clinical depression right that's the first sign so you need to be very very careful that your the the chill nature should not get you into clinical depression right that's the first thing secondly again jaise maine kaha tha make goals short term goals and long term goals and start working so start having one step at a time right so mai batata hu pandemic mein mere mai jinne janta hu mere doston ne kya kiya my one of my friends started this uh this home chef thing for food panda uh one of my friends started something on fever uh ye jo uh, uh, jo freelance websites hain they started working on that um a few of my friends started some new skills uh my sister started designing painting art uh, digital art she started on that so main example deta hu aapki koi hobby thi like singing uh playing a guitar playing a piano uh doing something on those lines pay a uh, painting a uh, uh, jewelry uh, designing clothes who is stopping you so main kab keh raha hu goal jo hai aap abhi jo bana rahe ho wo aapke profession ya aapki jo hai uh, urgency ke sath jo hai uh, co relate karna chahiye what i'm trying to tell you is just create a goal which you are passionate about which you love right now which gets you out of this mental block uh, that is a creative block right that's why we don't want to work anymore that's why we just want to eat and sleep and repeat the entire process so aapke jo creative block ya jo bhi log mujhe sun rahe hain if they are going through this creative block getting out of it you have to create goals on the things which are your passion which you love can be a hobby or something on those lines and move forward with that because if you don't the world is moving um the things are opening up uh the 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 flights are opening up people have started looking for tourism uh the businesses are revamping their stuff their supply chain so things are opening up uh ab ab bolo ke nahi ab 4 mahine mein aur wait karta hu जब तक सब नॉर्मल नहीं हो जाता तो मैं सिर्फ ब्रेकिंग न्यूज दे रहा हूं कि नॉर्मल नहीं होगा सो वी हैव टू लिव इन दिस सो वी बट एट द सेम टाइम डोंट ओवर डू इट राइट बर्नआउट के बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस हैं आई एम टॉकिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सो दे से सर वर्क वर्क फ्रॉम होम के अंदर वर्क ही रह गया है होम तो बचा ही नहीं ठीक है अब ऐसा भी नहीं होना चाहिए सो यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट ओवर डूइंग इट but at the same time you are not underdoing it so we have to strike a balance on that yes correct true we need to set boundaries uh, work and home go hand in hand and there needs to be a proper balance you are very much right and uh, any questions by the audience if they want to ask some questions you are more than welcome
when we get the questions you talked about being mindful and uh, being aware about the mental sanity right so what are yeah. the tips what advice do you give in current times how should people be going about their lives what should they be doing and what are the do's and don'ts uh, in the current scenario you have mentioned a lot of things definitely the audience would be taking something with them today inshallah but anything else you'd like to mention up uh, so two things look after your attitude and look after your attention right attention so what your your brain has limited capacity okay so what are what are those particular things you are giving attention to so if you are giving a videos that is attention should be on the optimistic part not on the negative part right uh, i'm sure yaar aap sabke ghar mein kahin na kahin news channel dekhne wala koi na koi to hoga aur aapne usse note kiya hoga ab wo aapke husband ho sakte hain aapke father ho sakte hain ya aap khud bhi ho sakti hain for that matter uh, lekin aapne note kiya hoga ki acche khase baithe hain sukoon se sab zindagi chal rahi hai achanak se piche se na ye to sab aise hi hai aise hi hoga zindagi ke andar ye pata nahi kya kar rahe hain apne sath एंड एंड आप कहते आप और आप कहते हो कि यार अभी तक तो जिंदगी में सब सही चल रहा था इनको क्या हो गया ठीक है ना इज देर स्पिरिट ऑफ अनदर वर्ल्ड विच हैज इंटर दिसल ऑफ ऑफ द पर्सन सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू मी सो सो वी हैव अ वेरी लिमिटेड अटेंशन स्पैन मेक श्योर दैट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन द पॉजिटिविटी और ऑन द ऑप्टमिस्टिक साइड राधर देन ऑन दीज एरिया सो अटेंशन सेकेंड इज आर एटीट्यूड इट्स वेरी इजी to be educated to be frustrated uh, in these times because uh, again it works on personalities as well if someone is an introvert it's a heaven for them right they don't need to talk to anyone they don't need to meet anyone and they're perfectly fine in their room and if they want to connect they'll just go through their mobile phone but someone like me who is hyper uh, extrovert uh, it's very difficult to manage those energies so our attitude towards managing our energies is really important jaise dr saira ne kaha cycling uh, kuch logo ke liye shayad ye choice hogi mere liye cycling to nahi khair uh, ab aisa nahi hai lekin walking ya jogging ya going out in the sunlight it's a necessity i need to feel belong people need to feel belong right the humanity needs to feel belong that's the concept of uh, societies communities families we need to feel belong so uh so that's 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 the game attitude that's the game attitude and attention if you get these two right if you get these right uh you are there thank you beautiful tips i'm sure the audience uh, would work on them uh moving on to the questions we have a question coming up it's by humera and she is asking i would like you to know i would like to know how to strike a balance between home and work life yes dr arun ah uh, humera uh, agar aapko iska jawab mil jaye to mujhe bhi de dena uh, so we are all uh, trying our best to strike a balance and uh, some are successful some days some aren't uh but what i can suggest to you that don't do the mistake of me 9 to 3 ya 9 to 5 office ka kaam karungi and then 5 onwards me ghar ka kaam karungi because that is not going to work uh in this uh in this work from home scenario so what we need to do is we have to amalgamate our work and our home together um so i was doing this one particular session which in which uh what we so i'm a trainer right so what we do is we create these uh, these checklist and and these entire um, uh, action plans and, and things on those lines so what we did was that we were creating one action plan one schedule or schedule whatever suits the person better and what happens what happened was ke 9 baje wo subah uthenge matlab 8 baje uthenge whatever it is 
और फिर उन्होंने एक से ढाई के बीच का गैप रखा था जहां पर उनके बच्चों की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस खत्म होगी उनको सुलाना एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट और ढाई बजे ऑनवर्ड्स उन्होंने वापस अपनी ऑफिस रखी थी राइट सो द द होम एलिमेंट्स व इंटीग्रेटेड इन द ऑफिस एलिमेंट्स राइट सो इट वॉज अ कंप्लीट स्केजुअल राधर देन नाइन टू फाइव एंड देन देर सिक्स टू टेन वर्क होम थिंग सो आई इफ यू इम्बेड दैट into the into your schedule the home element into the work element it might help you out because it hel- it has helped a lot of people definitely that would help uh, here i would like to take the opinion of ms saira imran also uh, ms uh, dr saira would you like to share your opinion your thoughts um in front of dr arif i think i should not say anything because he is the expert at that but uh, definitely it's a very enlightening session and i'm so glad that he could join us because um, it's amazing the way you've been telling us how to deal with it i'd like to share one thing in response to what miss uh, humaira i think her name is uh, humaira karal what she has said is that i'm also lost track of how to strike a balance and in that i've realized that i've got to make it work hand in hand i cannot i simply can't do like dr arif said it cannot be 9 to 2 or 9 to 3 or like we had it uh, 7:30 till 3:30 so it can't be it's it's 24/7 i was telling the teachers the other day it's uh, it's like a 28 hours out of 24 hours so we all are struggling and i think um we need to understand and accept that everything will go hand in hand and um uthte hain shah sawar girte hain shah sawar hi maidan e jang mein badi mushkil se hota hai chaman mein didavar paida mujhe lagta hai har din koi chaman mein didavar paida ho rahe by the minute we are having brave people who are warriors who are fighting who who have seen their empires crumbling down who have seen their em- empires shatter and still they are picking up the ashes and they are trying to rebuild again so this is the new normal it's turned us into warriors and brave people and we'll definitely 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 make through it inshallah 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 definitely okay uh, questions let's move towards that Ms. Professor commented there should be a schedule for every task because working twenty four seven won't work. Uh, what's your take on that, Doctor Arif? Yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree because uh, if you don't have a schedule, uh, nothing, nothing. You you won't work out a plan like uh, you. So, ham hamare zaban mein jo hai na, wo isko kehte hain ki. placing out fires right so it's an it's an urgent and important thing so then you're not looking for the important stuff you're just working on the urgent stuff ek baje khana banana hai for example dhai baje ye karna hai so you, if, if 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 a schedule is not there you will get tired in one week or so you will get burned out because everything would seem urgent to you because we have left it to the very end so i i agree with her okay that is great uh, moving forward to the next question let us have a look uh miss amna she is saying that uh, do you mean uh, to say that now it is time to practice out the values we plant uh dr arif uh, thank you amna first of all uh, there is no time a particular time to practice value practice uh, the values are there uh, it's it's just that that our our values aligned uh, with what we need in life right bahut sare log abhi bhi bahar nikal ke i'm sure yaar maine dekhe hain they they are out there with their friends corona varona kuch nahi hota hai uh they're not looking after their families so the still the, the people are there all right so we can't say ke values ab apply karo values apply nahi hoti well aap koi bhi kaam karte ho usme values aapke sath chalti hain right but what we can do right now amna is is reflect 
that are our values aligned with our priorities are our values aligned uh, with what we need in life what we want to do in life and if that's a no then we have to step back uh, unlearn and relearn and if if that's not the case if you if it is aligned mubarak uh, everything is in place yes because it's all about realignment rebuilding restructuring uh, thank you so much dr arif thank you all the participants you all have been a lovely audience uh, and the insightful discussion with our guest speaker dr arif today was definitely something uh, which we will never forget and we'll take something with us and try to improve the new normal that we're currently living in i'd like to uh, take dr saira imran again and she wants to announce about our next upcoming event which she is very much excited about and all of us as well yes dr saira um i'd like to announce that our uh, culinary club the students of the culinary club for them we have arranged this uh, very interesting event and it's happening tomorrow so please log on and catch us live tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock with none other than chef mahboob so this is on our fb students please uh, they are very excited and i'm sure they'll be pleased to see all of you viewing the tiny table treats that will be shared by dr chef mahboob thank you very much Dr. Arif Tiarali for joining us. Thank you very much, viewers. Thank, Thank you, Miss Sadaf and Miss Kurat. Miss Kurat, I'm really proud of you. You did a wonderful job. And thank you, Dr. Arif Tiarali, once again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you to Thank all you so the viewers much. and everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarah. Okay, with this, we'd like to end our today's session, which was extremely fruitful. Uh, we need to adapt. We need to uh, go with the change. that is there with us we need to reinvent and rebuild restructure positive relationships are very important and uh, last but not the least faith it can move mountains as i always say uh, i'm sure that you all enjoyed the session and it was very fruitful for all of you uh, thank you so much for joining us we'll see you tomorrow inshallah in the next session uh, which is the tiny table treats uh, till then allah hafiz and take good care of yourself